What up, YouTube? I am Tyler Phillips, the owner of um, TSL Tyler's account, which I am TSL Tyler. <laughs> um, I'm here to show you my homemade fire alarm system. First, we have pole station number one and pole station number two. Okay. These all go, and the alarms, of course, all go to right here, the electrical system. First, we have a step down transformer that goes from 120 volts to 32 volts. Next, we have a 120 volt capacitor that goes to the transformer in case this thing has trouble starting up. Next, we have a resistor that goes to the pole stations. So, my panel, which is right there, will not air out. Then we have one more capacitor finally that is 32 volts that goes to the alarms. Now let's go to the panel. To silence the alarms if there ever is an alarm, what we do is we push the button, which you cannot really see. It's right there. Okay, you can sort of see it. Push that one right there. Never, ever push this one. This turns that one, turns off the panel. Auxiliary is good. Auxiliary means that the pole stations are in. And since I have two instead of one, which is this thing, this thing controls only one pole. Um, uh, since this thing only controls uh, one pole. Um, it's, yeah. So auxiliary means that there's another pole in. And we, yeah. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, show you the uh, alarms I made. So we have pole number one, it goes down there, and another wire goes up there to a homemade simplex, um, just a homemade uh, fire alarm that I wrote simplex on, because that's like my favorite brand, and I wrote simplex on the poles too. The wire goes down there, and all wires up. And yeah, one pole station. You can you only have to pull one pole station to set off the alarms. Uh, it doesn't matter how many of these are pulled. The alarms will be going off if one of them is pulled. If two of them are pulled, <laughs> they're still going to be going off. Uh, yeah, that's the electrical system. It's kind of small, I guess. Um, and that all goes through the wall down to a wire. That big, huge. Uh, that little, those two little wires right there go to uh, there, and those two little wires go up, through into that wall, oh, up there, and around, down. The big thick wire goes to the alarms and the poles, and that little wire right there goes to the transformer. Okay. And that adapter is for my keyboard, and this one goes to the transformer for the rest of the system. I wanted to have a, just a plug-in transformer like my keyboard takes, but I didn't. But that one, I it costed too much money, so I just took a, so I just dug around and I found an old transformer from an amplifier I took apart, which still worked. Anyway, now we're gonna do pole station number one. Lift up. And push down. Over here. Silence. Now, as you will be seeing, uh, I need to find my key also. Um, but as you saw, right when I pushed that thing down, the alarms went off. Now, uh, if you heard a little click when the panel turned off, that was just the circuit that goes to the alarms uh, turning off because it's all uh, there's also a relay switch and stuff built in there for the alarms so to silence them and the pole's still down you can still do that okay so um where did I put my key at this kind of takes me off when I lose it um 
Yeah, I should have had my key before I made the video. Um, oh, here it is. But here's the key. Okay. So since we set off this pole, we need to come up here and we go. Shut that and turn that. And then we're done. Next, we'll come back over here and we reset the system. And you will hear a click from the relay. And that little shiny thing in there is just something reflecting. There we go. That little click. Was it resetting? Now we're going to do this pull. That one right there. Oh, yeah, and the second alarm is right here. It's one I made. That it, it just looks ugly, so I have it under there. Next, we're oh, I need, I need to keep my key with me. <clears throat> and it is kind of a big key right there. All right. So, like always, we lift up and push down. And the one in here is also going off. And so, be silent. Put the key in on the bottom. Turn. Lift up. Shut the door. And take it out. And we reset the system. Thank you for watching my video on my homemade fire alarm system. This is TSL Tyler, and that was a fire alarm video, and don't worry, I will be making more. Uh, I will be uh, adding things to my system all the time, so uh, stay tuned. See ya.